hello guys spidey alive here and in my previous video i talked about how to save your project in this video i'm going to talk about timeline and media tracks this is your timeline where you work your project is what we call the timeline and these ones on your left hand side are the tracks you could see that this icon here shows that it's a video track while this icon here shows that it's an audio track okay okay you can create an audio track by pressing ctrl q on your keyboard to create an audio track and you can create a video track by pressing ctrl shift q on your keyboard to get a video track done okay so in here you can right click outside here as well to also create either a video track or an audio track in here so looking at this track you can zoom in and zoom out of your timeline as well so you can use the scroll button to zoom in and out of your timeline or you can use this icon right here to zoom in and use this icon right here to zoom out as well and also if you want these tracks to look smaller you can double click on this scroll bar right here to make it smaller you can double click on it to make it as the previous one as well and also you can use this icon over here to make it much bigger and you can also use this to also make it smaller and to your preferred size so looking at this icon right here you can see the mute icon in here and you can see the solo in here actually the difference between the mute and the solo is that with the mute icon when you click on the mute it shuts this track down anything in this track is not going to be visible for you to see and when you click on the solo it's only going to show what's in this track anything in this track is going to be visible and the remaining tracks there will be nothing in here so that's the difference between the mute and the solo as well and also you can hide this track by taking your mouse to the edge of the track and double clicking to push it in that's you've gotten it hidden and you can also do the same by putting your mouse in there and seeing this icon right there and also double clicking to get it back in here please take note of this icons this icon is different from this icon so when you want to hide it and you should see this icon that's not how you are going to hide it you need to make sure you see this icon before you double click and also this icon is a different thing altogether it does a different job because when you double click this is what you also get for this and in this one is used for trimming your clips as well so when you should see this in here just double click this back and then you get back this view make sure you check out the two icons there are two different icons in here this and this okay in this track in this video track you can click in here that's the more option and you can choose the video effects that's the track effect so when you click on the track effect this allows you to add video effects into this track in here and also it also shows you video effects that have been added to that track looking at this is a video effect this is also a video effect to get rid of the video effect you come to this icon right here and you click on this to remove that effect and there is another effect here as well you can also get this off by also pressing this effect right here and after that there are no effects in this video track okay so coming to this options also there are also more options in this place and i will take them through in the advanced video editing course okay so 
you can see that there is another option here known as the edit visible button set so when you click on this you could see that it's only the mute and the solo that has been ticked so it means the only icon you will see on this is going to be the mute and this is the solo okay so in order to add the track effects you can also get this checked and also your compositing mode because i normally use the ones i just checked more often so i click ok and those icons are going to be on all video track so you could see that the track effects is here that's the video effects so you can click this straight to get into the video effect you can choose your effect in here and then you apply it to that track with this icon in here it's better and faster than coming in here to click on that and because we have made it visible in here it's not going to be in this option anymore so this will be the only options left so in case we add more stuffs in here okay so because we have added these icons in here it's not going to add those lists in here as well there are also track effects you can also add to this audio track and also there is a way you can also edit the visible buttons and also add some visible buttons to that side as well so in here i prefer the effects should also be part of this audio track so when i want to add an effect to this audio track i can be able to click and add any effects i want into that so looking at this track you could see that there is a line in here that says op opacity is 100 percent you can decrease this and you are decreasing only the opacity of this video okay so when you come in here as well this level is also the opacity when you decrease this opacity you are decreasing the opacity of this track so any video that is placed on this track is going to have this percentage of opacity on it so in this track this opacity is 100 so now when i push this and bring it up here you could see the difference in here so it has changed the opacity into that okay so when you bring this to 100 and you should work on this only as the opacity it only affects this video it doesn't affect this video you see that this video is still the same as it is yeah. the same applies to the audio track as well the audio track this is the volume slider and you can use this to increase the sound decibels and also decrease them as well the same applies to this when you reduce this you only reduce it to affect this sound on this track but when you decrease it here or you increase it here any audio that is placed in this track is going to be affected okay so that's all for this video thanks for watching and see you in my next video have a good day